Hey y'all, Carol Norby here. You're at my Facebook page, Stampin' Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness, or you're on my YouTube channel. I had a class today, and some of the gals bought either the extra kit or an extra kit, I should say, or they had to purchase their kits because they could not come. So this video is geared toward them, but I hope you stay and watch. I have a little treat at the end of uh, using something I just purchased. Uh, but uh, this video may be a little long because we made four cards and I'm going to show them that did not arrive to how to make these cards together, even though they got printed directions. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm kind of Rambling on, I guess. Anyway, I'll flip the phone over and we'll get started. Hang on. Okay. Get this to here. So everybody got a bag of goodies and you need to empty the bag. Because these are for all four cards. So um, I just kind of sorted the purple gems out. There's uh, black gems. Black gems. Two exclamation points, a couple of bats, some eyes, and some words. So we're going to start with this card. This is so cool. I bought this trim at Arizona Scrapbooking when they were in business. I got um, two kinds of red and a black. So I, th I found them in my drawer here a while back, and I go, oh, I got to use it. I got to use it. So the ghost is from... Um, what was that from? That was a Spellbinder stamp set that's no longer available. But the Eek is from a stamp, a die set that I got through scrapbook.com called uh, Eek and Boo Die Set. Um, and if you look back on my website post, stampandcarol.com, and you find this card, I do have links to these, this die set and anything that you can purchase uh, to make this card. So I'm going to set that aside right there. And I have an idea I'm going to run out of my adhesive roller, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to scoot those a little bit over. So you got your folded card base and you got this purple and you notice it's been splattered with black silk. I got that from Spellbinders. So I'll flip that over. And I'm going to adhere it. So I really didn't do any anything to these um, card kits prior other than the two that required coloring are colored. You don't need to sit and watch me color. That's like watching paint dry and I used to paint houses. So uh, that takes a while. <laughs> I'm trying to get it up in the corner just where I need it. There. And bring it on down the, the edge. Now I see I got a little extra here. When I cut this paper sometimes if I cut five and a half inches in length, the paper itself is off. So I will trim that later. So I'm going to set that aside. So you got your oval. It's embossed on the edges. That's the front. You got your trim. This is the other red trim. I did not have enough of that to do 10 kits. So I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to adhere it to the back. Um, so this, like I said, this video might take a little bit because there's a lot to do. I am using, uh, this is a score tape, or you can get this kind of tape, not only from score tape, which I think scrapbook.com has. I got this from Spellbinders. This is what they call their white line tape. I love it. It is so strong. So I'm going to take the, that off. So I'm going to try to make sure it's centered. Since I'm sitting, I really can't see where I'm at. I'm going to get that on there. Pull snug and get the other side on here. Now I told the gals, they we popped ours on the card. And if you want to pop it, put some of your foam on here. It helps hold that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I was telling them I bought this foam tape, foam adhesive roll from scrapbook.com. It's one inch wide. You get a lot of bang for your buck on this. And these days that's important. So I can cut these to whatever length I need. I can cut 
um, I, you can trim it to whatever size you need. There is very little waste unless you screw up. <laughs> so I'm going to put one here. I'm going to go ahead and pop it. Now um, this will change things around a little bit when you um, add the word to the bottom because on here I didn't pop it and I glued the word down so it glued right over the top. If you pop it you're going to have your letters um, it's it's going to flatten the one end, the bottom end, but I want to show it the way we did it. This is an either or in the class, uh, just because I, I like to pop things. I told them I like to pop off. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I I usually don't do a whole lot of that. So when you get this on, you're going to center it, but you're going to only come down about a quarter inch from the top. So I'm going to set that there. Now all here's your kit. There's Oh, you need these little eyes. You're going to pop this right there. And popping, putting this on, by popping this, it'll help hold this down too. So... Um, I will pop it. This card went relatively fast, other than trying to get the lace on. Because it, it's the wide enough, you can see, it's it's wide enough, it doesn't fit super great. So I'll set that there. I did find a phone holder that holds my phone sideways. but Or like it is now, and I'm trying to decide if I want it to do that. Um... I know I have to stay within a certain area sideways, but I know if I do it this away, the lengthways, I will have to be very careful also. So, you know, you just don't get that big of a photo of a, of a screen. Now, these little eyes are ones I've had that I bought years ago from Fun Stamper's Journey. Uh, Spellbinders no longer carries them. So this you're going to put here. And you make sure you grab the right exclamation point, and you're going to put it here, kind of center it. As you can see, if I if I don't pop this, it holds it. You know, you're going to have to glue it, and it'll hold it down a little bit, not a lot. But that's totally up to you. So that is that card. I'm going to stop on this one and move on to the next. So the next card we did was this one. I used mostly a spellbinder's die. These came from a Spellbinders die called Open House Boo. And again, if you can find this card on my stampandcarol.com site, it'll have links to these that you can purchase. There's three little purple gems here. They came from a, a, a box of gems that I got years ago. Uh, I just love them. I did assemble the uh, pumpkin for them because there's so much to it. I did not line the eyes and back because it's plenty dark. So this die set comes from Whimsy Art or Whimsy Stamps. I love this die set. This is probably at least the third class that I have used this die set on. I just love it. So um, again, I will have links if you find this card. If you go down in the uh, labels on my website. Far down on the right side sidebar, there's labels. And if you do theme Halloween, it'll bring up all these Halloween cards, posts. That might make it a whole lot easier for you. So um, I do a lot of labels to help people. So anyway, i get this on here. Get there. There. So... I'm a little off on the side here. I will trim it. So I'm going to pop this. So there is a right and wrong side. The right side has the stitching. Can you see if I can show you that stitching? There, you can see the stitching. You want that on top. Now there's stitching on the back, but you can feel it. You don't want that. That's the back. So I'm going to add my trim to that. I don't want that one. I want my foam again. And 
as you can see I can trim my foam down pretty good so I like this foam it is great and again you get a lot for your dollar so who doesn't like that and it is a big roll so I'm going to make sure that I have it on these edges because I need to make sure they stay down for whatever I'm doing I'm gonna put a little bit here and I have a tendency to use quite a bit of foam because I want to make sure things stick and I don't want my layer to be caving in on me I want it to stay upright now you don't want to put too much under this this hole here this is it's going to go on this way you want the two holes on the left because I want to be careful putting too much there because I will have a ghost kind of kind of under there he's got to tuck in just a little just a little so put that there I'm going to put one more in right here so again I do use a lot of this but I like I like it that it stays where I want it it gives me good dimension and again this stuff is really really reasonable in price I think it's like I've got to think it's roughly $12.99 for a doesn't say on there that's a lot and I've had this for quite a while so you get a lot a lot a lot so check out my links for that now when I put these on I have to stand up but I grab from one corner to the other corner standing up looking straight down I can see whether it's centered so that works for me I know people have their own own way of doing things but that's the only way I can get this to work for me he's going to tuck in here but he is going to be popped so I will get another piece out of foam and I hope frequently I hold the foam between my knees okay I don't want that up there too high there see I had to cut a little bit off so it fit I don't need that little piece I'm gonna stick this one kind of in here and you can overlap them on the top if you want but just stick the bottom in some of my die cuts get a little rough I've used this die so many 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 times but I like it see there's another piece I cut I'm gonna cut them into two pieces just be careful with your scissors when you cut these little critters from Fun Stampers or all from Spellbinders. These are the details, Detail Pro scissors. They are so sharp and they're self sharpening. I have taken V's out of my fingers. So when you cut this foam, just be very careful that your fingers out of the way. It's not fun getting blood all over a project, and I have done that once and had to toss the project. Okay, so then I'm going to go to the ghost, or the ah, bat, and I'm cutting a very thin piece. I'm going to put a piece here, and the bat's very shiny. Now what they did, I did pop this bat, but most of the gals glued them down, and that looked really cool. I like it when they come up with something different like that. It's like, oh, I never thought of that. I'm going to save this little piece, because I'll use them. So I will glue it down. Might have to put it right in the middle. There's, there might be just enough there. I can get. Now it's sticking to me. <laughs> okay, we'll see. If I can get, yeah, very good. So there's the that. Now he's going to hang over on the edges ever so little. He's going to go over the top of the frame. I will glue this one down. And I use, I have to buy this directly from Spellbinders, Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I love it. Got to keep your pen in there um, because that is an itty bitty tip. So I'm going to add that to here. See if it'll come out. There we go. And as soon as I'm done using it, I stick that pin right back in there because one time I didn't do it fast enough and I had a heck of a time getting that tip open. I'm going to stick him right there. Okay, now the words, I have to use that one. The words are going to go here and here. Do not pop. 
You're going to put your three purple gems on up here like this. You do need glue dots. It will not work otherwise. So that's this card, and I will finish it later. But that's that card, so I will set it aside and go to the next one. Okay, this is the next card. I'm going to move that out of the way. Don't want to lose any of those because I need to put them on. We did this little Boo Kitty. I bought him from scrapbook.com. He's made by uh, Penny Black. The stamp set is called Stack of Lanterns Stamp Set. I again used the Eek and Boo die set. So I'll set that there. Set these aside here. I need to move my, my tool in one. Get stuff out of the way here. I get a little loaded here sometimes. Now I did, for the gals, I embossed and sponged my moon so again we're going to stick this on here so ah come on i am so close to out of tape on here i hope i have enough to finish my my video today it's going to be real close real real close i'll probably run out on the next card by the looks of it and i did on one of my class videos and so I gave a quick lesson on how to refill your ATG gun. <laughs> okay, get that. I'm a little off, as you can see. And I do that. That just happens. So I'm working on getting it in the right spot. There we go. Okay. This, is a, this frame was die cut from a Spellbinders die set called snapshot frames i think it's still available i have used this an awful awful lot too i'm sure um when I, since i've started videoing my classes you will you will see that if you come across some of these that i've used it i've i've had this die set a long time and it's just one of my favorites it has a lot to it a lot of of uh, dies in it there's the bat that I'm going to be using, this bat right here. That's in this die set. And you can see I've used it so much that it's not cutting super clean anymore. I've probably had this die set four or five years. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a while. So I'll get this in here. Like I said, I like to use a lot of foam because I want to make sure I get a good, good dimension. I've seen some people use very little, and sadly, their whatever they pop seems to just fall in on itself. So I'm going, no, that looks kind of bad. So, one more. Okay. If I go too fast, I'm sure I'll take a piece of my finger out. So, anyway, so. On my way home, I did a quick trip through McDonald's and bought me. They do not have their salads yet. I was so disappointed. I thought surely they would by now, but they don't. So I had a fish sandwich, little dashboard dining on the way home because I was trying to get here to do this at a reasonable time. Just going to put that on at an angle. Okay, this you're going to put directly on. So you don't want to pop your moon because you're going to pop your kitty. I do a lot of pop. When I was a demonstrator for Fun Stamper's Journey, they said, when in doubt, pop it out. And as you can see, it kind of, kind of right here, it seems. Oh, I didn't get that off. That's why. Didn't get the adhesive backing off. But already, it's it's kind of collapsing right there. And I, I really don't like that. So you're going to put, i try to remember, need three gems now these gems I don't particularly like their adhesive is really weird if the adhesive comes off use the glue dot so I'm going to put one right here I'm trying to pick that up off the table is fun now you have to cut these apart because they just put strips of adhesive on the, the liner, and then they added the black dots. To me, that just is really weird. 
that in right here. This other one's going to go down. Oh, this is fun. Not. <laughs> okay, there it comes. Try and get that adhesive back under it. Stick it on the end of the... I've gotten off the table. How do you like that? Get back up here. And stick it right there. I'm going to pop this little guy right here. You can see <laughs> I stamped it once and it didn't turn out right, so I redid it on the other side and made sure I marked the side you don't want to color out and so I wouldn't screw it up anymore. So get my <sighs> I am tired. I kept waking up last night. I dislike that when I do that. See, now, if I have my phone turned sideways, this is where I'm afraid I'm going to have some issues. It's trying to stay in the picture because you have such a smaller, smaller length to it. So I'm going to put him right there. I want him to look like he's standing on the frame. I'm going to pop him right up here in this corner. I'm going to put the boo right down in here. And I just glued it down. So that is what that card is going to look like when you're done. So I will set this aside and finish it later. I've got a whole pile over here to finish. <laughs> but you don't need, you know, once I explain it to you, it's a piece of cake. Okay, this is the last card. I had to laugh. I went to show it to him, and I did not, I only made the card front. I did not get it on a card. <laughs> I had to laugh at myself. So you got your white base. You got your black. Now, if you notice, there's an oval cut out of here. I use this oval on the on the Eek Boo card or the Eek Ghost card, so it uh, there's no sense having all that paper because this is going to be covered by another piece of paper. So I just used it, and it, sometimes it might even make a difference in your postage because this paper is heavy. It might uh, it might save you an extra ounce stamp. I'm not too sure. So I'm going to get this up in that corner to get it started. And again, this paper is not quite the right length because the paper I use for my card bases, that's the only problem with getting this on here is trying to, I can't see what I'm doing here, there. I'm just not having the best of luck right now. Come on. There we go. Okay, so you're going to put that on. You're going to adhere this piece on. See, it'll cover that, so you're good. Uh, I am so close to out of this adhesive roll. I buy my tape for my gun from the Tape Jungle. You do have to make sure you get the right ones. I have to get the little 12 hole ones. And this gun is so old that the spring does not want to say where it belongs. So I put a button and a piece of paper in there to hold it so it'll stay on the roller and keep so it won't uh, fall out. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to center this. I think that's about right. You have the banner. You're going to center it here. You don't pop the banner. So, yep, it's getting there. I'm running out. I'll be lucky to finish this, like I said. This is going to center. Now, this is a banner die from Spellbinders, but they do not carry it any longer. Right about there. You're going to pop him right there. You have the words, Happy and Halloween. You're going to adhere these on and then pop them on. And then add your black dots to those corners. So you can see how it's going to end up. So you're going to pop this up here. This is always the hard part. I can never start, start that at the end. I have to go from the middle out and the middle out. 
So if you're having trouble doing that, just go from the middle out, switch it around, and middle out again. Okay, so that's going to go there. This is going to pop here. You're going to put your black dots on. You're going to pop him after you color him, and you're done. That is the kit, the class today. So I'm going to get these out of the way so I don't lose them. Put them up here on my... Uh, like I said, I'll finish this in a few minutes. Get that done. So I want to show you what I bought this weekend. Make some room here so I can show you. Get an ink pad out. There's this clever little tool here. This is a 3D printed uh, tool with a piece of felt. And at first, I had no idea what this was. I got it from Scraps of Love. It says right there. And you can buy it on their website if you don't want to go up there. This turned out to be pretty clever. And I found out it saved me even some problems. So I want to stamp this image here I got. This is a fun stamp set I got from Art Impressions. I'm going to use it in my November class called Penguin Cheer. I'm going to stamp this one on the circle that I had die cut. But this is cool because I usually have trouble getting a good image um, at times. Uh, I usually have to stand up and push down and my hand has a tendency not to slide as well as I like it on the cover. So, you know, you press and press and press. And with clear stamps, you don't want to do that too much. So you're going to put that. This is what I like. I just did this. Go it around. I'm not using a lot of pressure. And I got a really decent image. Now I want a little bit more because it's not as dark as I like it. So I'm going to ink it again because this is the first time this stamp has ever been inked and so it's not really wanting to take the ink on the in, on the on the edges real good. So I'm going to do this again. This slide this slides so nice. In your hand you're going, uh yeah your hand doesn't slide as nice. And there you go. I like that. That's cool, and I can color it. So that's what this does. That's how it works. Isn't that cool? So that is the end of my class video today. I'm going to flip this back over. So that is it. So if you have not, do not have the kit, I just hope that this will inspire you. Um, and again, all these cards are on my website, stampincarol.com. If you go down in the labels on the far right sidebar, way down there, look for Theme Halloween. And these will pop up somewhere. Uh, there are some of my more current ones. I did them all in August. Uh, and uh, I think maybe one was the first of September. So... <laughs> So anyway, check them out if you are interested in any of the products. The links for what you can purchase through me are there. And you do not get charged anything for purchasing through me. The companies give me a little bit of commission. Very small, but it adds up. So I want to thank you for stopping by. And um, we'll see what happens next week. I have salsa tomorrow. And I was going to show you. Oh, I was going to show you next month's cards. Yes, so I'll come outside a little bit. So next month is my thankful class. So we have this cute little guy. You cannot get this turkey anymore, but Spellbinders has a really, really cute one that you can get. And this card will post on my website next week. I think it's Tuesday or Friday. I'm not sure which. Maybe Friday. And it'll have links to the one that you can purchase that's similar to this and whatever else is available. And then this one is also a Spellbinders. I used all Spellbinders die sets and stamps. So it's fall. Um, I'll probably give more leaves. And if you see, I, I did sponge around the leaves. So I'll probably give you five leaves. And then... I did this one. This is, uh, I will make the corn stalks for everybody because those pieces are itty bitty. Each corn has a, a husk and then we have the stalks. So that's two, four, six, seven pieces. It'll be easier for me to do it. And with my Barely Art glue and that really fine tip, it does go really, really fast. Aurora, check out my link uh, coming up. Again, uh, that turkey was not available, but another one is. And it's really cute. I just thought I already had one turkey. Why buy another? And then there's this card. 
um, I did change the colors through here. I did not like this uh, being the same color as the background I was just playing, but I thought, oh, this is cute. I will assemble for the class the acorns. So anyway, this is next month's class. I limit it to 12 kits. That means 11 availabilities because I usually need one kit to do this, what I'm doing right now. So um, I'm already, I've already got, I think, five signed up for class <laughs> so far. I haven't even sent out my newsletter. And if you want my newsletter, put a, <laughs> yeah, gobble, gobble, Angie, put a comment under this video with your email. I will add you to my newsletter so you know what's going on. I send out generally two of them a month. And then uh, to those that do take the class, I send them a third email just as a reminder a day or two before class so that they go, oh, yeah, class is coming. <gasps> I want to go. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I just I just love my teaching. I love my gals in class. They are so wonderful. Play, pray for Linda. She's one of my gals. She took a tumble a week ago. She's still got massive bruising and extremely sore muscles in her back. Uh, so she needs prayer. She usually goes with us tomorrow. To stamp club she can't she might be able to make it next week to our other stamp group so pray for linda that she will heal quickly so anyway y'all have a wonderful day have a great weekend and we'll catch y'all hopefully next week i hope to have a video wednesday we'll see what happens so y'all have a great day bye bye <laughs>